What? Oh. Gates of Hell. No, I don't really need that. Oh. Let's see what's in here. I don't know. I'll play some Halos. Ah. What the hell are these things and why are they here? What the fuck is this? I don't remember this bit at all. Uh, we and that did something. Wait, is Bale still on that thing? Or I, don't, I doubt she is. Oh, and now I get to do the moonwalk. Moon, moon, well, which walk rather? Did she just call it the moonwalk? I've done a joke work where it can be done. I. Oh, well, uh, look, there is a moonwalk animation. Uh, I get the feeling this sequence wasn't supposed to be as easy as it just was. Ah, there we go. Oh, not you again, for fuck's sake. Oh, he has spider farm now. I don't think he had that before. Yeah, so, 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 entering which time is the best thing to do to beat this guy? Feel this in your face. Damn it. Come on, I shouldn't have hit me. I, I, I did the dodge, man. I did the fucking dodge. I'm surprised there's not really been any new guns, really. I guess it just has the default gun not, not, at all times. See, when we kill, you get like a sawn off shotgun. I can never make cry. They always have one of those. I always have some kind of some kind of grenade or rocket launcher. Damn it! Fuck off! I don't I don't like fighting the same fucking bosses again. It's like I've already proven myself against them once. Why do I need to Why do I need to do it a second time? Unless it's like important for the plot, or they have a completely different ability set. Like Devil May Cry Three, it's both. Oh, I wonder if the hands are gonna get it right this time. The best start, because if they get it wrong again, that's just going to be really shit and lame, because it's already been done that way. And... They did it again. Like, like it was funny the first time, but don't do it a second time, for fuck's sake. That's just lazy. And lame. And silly. Come on! Oh, fucked! Yeah. Ah. I'm in pain from sitting in this awkward position. I'm not saying my legs cross. It sh shouldn't even be all that. It shouldn't be that painful, but it is somehow. Now, what's gonna. What am I gonna have to fight here? Oh, fuck off. Right. This is just absolute bollocks. You know, you know actually what, what this, area, this whole bit reminds me of now? I like, just looking at the thing's design and the area I'm in. It's like the opening of Final Fantasy 13. Well, I guess the opening of Final Fantasy 13 is like this. I'm pretty sure this came out before that, but yeah. Because like I sat in this like little uh, train track fucking hallway area with a big robot you have to fight, and ah no oh fucked, and then it explodes. You have to run from the explosion. Yep. 
Adios, bitch. Oh, shit. No. I think you're supposed to keep up with you, actually, just to make it more intense. Oh, shit. Yeah. And the last one. And it falls. Very slowly. Is it falling upwards or downwards? Probably upwards. Just to be bizarre. Where the hell? Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll follow, follow the path. Instead of trying to jump somewhere. Because I don't know what the fuck would happen if I went off course. And as you can see, yes, I am dying. Oh, what's... Ah. We... Oh. No, I do jump in it, good. Yay! I did it, I guess. Whoa! Look at all their medals. Basically, about you got a silver. No, I got a gold, nice. Stop, stop laughing at me, Rodan. I don't see you out there. Doing all the good stuff, beating the shit out of motherfuckers, eh? Douche. Such a condescending asshole. Well, she's still wearing it there. So I want to know if she actually still wears it in the cutscenes. Oh, and you're next. And. Damn it. Fuck. Fuck! He survived and I missed and I didn't kill him. No! Shit. Fine, I'll just fucking whatever. Whatever. And now we're at the very top. So this should be the very end of the game where we go in and go, ha ha ha, you Lumen Sage motherfucker, we beat the shit out of you. It's an odd number though, and it's 16 chapters. I know, this seems a bit weird. So let's find out if she's still wearing that fucking costume in the cutscenes. Haha. Uh -huh. Whoa, shit, what the fuck was that? Cool. What follows those living in the light? Is nothing but the profound. Here's the dude who is like, I'm talking to Bayo. from the shadow that grows longer as they approach. Oh no. I forgot this guy was wearing fucking lipstick. Your eyes must be open to both light and dark. Don't you agree, my dear child? Oh, that's just creepy, that. What kind of a creep lets it lets it a girl that young wear lipstick? Mommy. I mean, come on, even Bale doesn't wear lipstick. You've arrived. My dear. Or is it meant to be blood? My my. Why the grim face, my dear? As a child, your smile was warmer than the sun. So you are the last of the Lumen Sages. I am. He's dressed like a peacock. My name is Bald. But if you so choose, you may address me as Father. What? There is much you have no. forgotten. I, it has been five hundred. A, a girl years having sex with her father and, and having a child through incest, if it wouldn't surprise me to see in some of Japanese. This would have been a much more But that's not what's going on. Thank fuck for that. How did you get the girl? Where shall I begin? From the start. That's usually a good place to start. We, the Lumen Sages, and your Umbra Witches, have long been the overseers of history, each bearing witness with their own. I, 
This is how our universe is. I don't think that was. I don't think you need the apostrophe in there. Existence ah. Was preserved. So it's it about a single universe. I see. However, for those five hundred years, you have been exiled from the world's affairs. You are the left eye of the eyes of the world. Could you dispense with the riddles and just tell me what these sodding eyes actually are? Why are the eyes capsulized? Your years of slumber have caused you to forget many things, even as we stand on the verge of the resurrection of the Creator. Oh yeah, Jubileus. I, f I forgot about that. Like legit, I actually forgot about it. Because <laughs> they stopped bringing it up for a while. Ah. Your battles, your struggles, everything you've experienced in this town has been a stepping stone for your enlightenment. It has all been done for the left eye. I've had enough of your philosophical pretensions. I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. Where did you get the She should have punched him, hmm. like Shepard, would have been well good. Your question has been answered. All this has been done to awaken the left eye. For that, you had to see yourself once more. You are truly beyond salvation, Sage. Ah, salvation. Such a curious word. I mark the path to salvation with light. However, no matter how brilliant that light grows, the darkness within the human heart grows even darker. I wish you'd just speak fucking English light? to make Dark it easy to understand what's going on. Chaos between. Three realities, once split, shall be brought together to create a new universe in the image of the earth. What? Why? To these ends, leading to the festival of resurrection 500 years ago, I found the flames of terror spurring on the witch hunts. However, despite the people's belief in the return of Jubileus, the creator, the left eye was out of reach. Since then, I have devoted myself to this town's prosperity. And now, it is time for my preparations to bear fruit. Jubileus will be resurrected. We will become the eyes of the world. I just realized his monocle is like attached to his ear. Will take it's weird. Puppy. I could never call the man behind this nightmare father. Just shoot him. Shoot him. Uh, great speech, big guy. Luca. Go on, Luca. You shooting then? Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, Mr. Big Shot Ithaval Executive? Salvation. Light. You take this entrepreneurial philosophy a bit seriously, don't you? But it's all diarrhea of the mouth, if you ask me. History is he says that while about to grope the figures, breast of a statue. Or, should I say, infamous genocidal figures. Is he bleeding, or... Must be or is he just dirty? Journalist How did he end up that way? I must say, I'm truly impressed you've made it this far, child. Like father, like son. What? Luca, Luca, Luca. The plot thickens. Problems with my philosophy. It's fine to investigate, but 
But when malicious rumors start to spread, I must see to it that they come to a stop. For being kind enough to ascertain that my long lost eraser was at the bottom of some lake, I granted him his final wish and accepted his permanent resignation. You bastard! So Lucas' dad found out where Bale was and then he, he had Lucas' dad killed. Father! Yep, he was killed by the angels. Lucas just couldn't see him. What does dignity have to do with it? Bayo, hello, step in and help him. In fact, that's the first time Luke has been able to see the angels, isn't it? Well, with his own eyes. There you go. Ooh. Shit. I guess my plan that was like a real proper sounding scream by your alone with all the such a shame that sacrifice had to be made but if destiny is not fulfilled soon this tragedy will be repeated at nausea fuck him up bail get your gun and shoot him I suppose you've met John while she sealed you away and kept you from trouble, after falling into our hands, she's been incredibly useful. Although her distinct lack of obedience required a bit of mental reprogramming. Yeah, so Jean was fighting Bayonetta because she was under mind control the entire time. Because mind control is a plot device, like... It's kind of shit most of the time. Yeah, so just in case it's not clear, yeah, Cereza is like, is Bayonetta's past self. Yeah, so they have time travel in this story. Kind of. I think. It's not really clear. That's just fucking creepy. You better not turn into some big monster with the young Cereza's face. Because that would be awful. Simply awful. Wait a minute. This scene looks familiar. That's fucking creepy. Aww. Father Balder. Like Baldur's Gate. Aha, aha. One your giant peacock. Peacock end. Oh shit, whoa shit. No, she won't actually not, yeah, I just realized she wasn't actually wearing the uh the, the cat's costume as it were in the cut in the cutscenes. I don't know, I guess I guess that might have ruined the whole thing. But yeah, it's one way of making of making the uh, player want to fuck this guy up. He, he brainwashed Jean, he's killed Luca, and then he fucking absorbs the razor. Destroy him! What? Oh, that's the one. The elephant dog. Oh! Wait, isn't Cer yes, the razor's still inside him. Couldn't this kill her? No! Oh. Now I'm not sure if Bayonetta can summon that ever again. So I'm not sure 
what she summons in Bayonetta 2. Because I've, I've, it's been ages since I played the demo. And I've intentionally avoided watching any gameplay just to, to not spoil anything for myself. Alright, let's try this one. The bird, maybe? It's nice, no, the uh, centipede slash millipede guy. Kill it! Well, kill him rather, not kill it. It's on our side. All right, yeah, I was I was pressing the right button, so it says Y, so I got confused. It's like pressing X. Okay, so where Y is on the Xbox controller? Because fucking Nintendo! Stupid bitches. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure you couldn't actually comb your hair with a feather like that. It's too soft, man. You need the jagged edges and the the the, 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 the yes, it has to be solid, you piece of shit. And yeah, this guy's a lot like Sanctus from Devil May Cry 4. He's a douche. Whoa, shit. Whoa. Wow, wow. Oh, no. And... What the hell? Nice. Wait. Is that a lipstick bullet? Oh shit, I have to go for his face. Surprised you can't control this with the uh, motion controls. Oh shit! I can dodge this, I can dodge this. Aim for the fod, aim for the fod! And he dies. <laughs> But how is how is oh how she got to raise it out? I don't know. And oh, she just let the missile carry on. Yeah, cause I'm sure Bale knew to do that. Or like, what the fuck? I don't know. Is it? Is it I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Luca, and I'm glad he's okay. That was a bit of a cop out. Ha 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 I've seen enough. Go on then. Snogger or something would be great. Well, that about wraps it up, huh? Yep, Jubileus is f not 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 Jubileus. No, um Balder, he's dead. Yep. <sighs> not really that tough a fight though. Bit Disappointing, really. So Bayo has to go through a portal in time to take herself to the past. And... Yeah. So Bayonetta's mum died a long Everything time ago. So where is she taking her? Exactly. So that's why she calls um Sweet Dreams. That's why she calls Luca Trash in case you didn't figure out because the, the cat's like Fly me to the moon. 
It's probably just like that she remembered the name and, and just it somehow seemed fit into her. Not sure why she felt why she was singing that particular song. I mean, she's a pretty good singer. But yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, I'll do like some kind of bonus after this. I don't know what it'll be, just some thing to go at the end. What? What? What's that? Oh, wait, what? Wait, so it's like a third version of that scene. Keep it safe. Close to your heart. I'm not afraid anymore, Mummy. No matter what. There's nothing I cannot do. Um Okay. Bayonetta! What's happening to you? And now it is done. Oh. The right eye oversees the light. Yeah, hey, I forgot you weren't dead. <laughs> the left eye oversees the dark. I actually, I actually forgot that he survives. <laughs> You know, I remember that the game weren't told, but I didn't remember that he he specifically survived. That I set my sights upon. It was you as a child, Cereza, that I saw. For she was the one who saw the world through innocent eyes, and she was the one who could give rise to a new history. It was her energy that could awaken the left eye. This is all worked out splendid. <laughs> Let us begin, Cereza. The time is at hand. So then... What the fuck is this? I wish I could have had a better, better main villain than this guy though, he's kind of shit. And this is so like Devil May Cry 4. Now, the resurrection of it's unbelievable. Shall be completed. We are the eyes overseeing the world. We are the eyes overseeing a new era, a new reality, to which we will devote ourselves eternally. You piece of shit. So, like, to be continued in Bayonetta 2. Kind of a shame he's the one to beat Bayo in it. And that's that, that's. Oh, got a platinum! Oh, yeah! But yeah. Shit. You're such a shit bastard, Mr. Mr. Bad Guy. I'm invisible. And I'm still invisible. You should just put Luke in there for, for the hell of it to go, Luke, run me around. I thought it was going to be some weird joke thing where there's no angels to shoot. I want to see anything like this in Bayonetta 2. I have to find out, like. Uh. Boom! Shit. Damn it! Fuck! Uh. And that's that. That's. That's the end of the game. Uh, 
Gonna have to do Bayonetta 2 at some point to continue the story. What? Oh, what? No, what? What the fuck is this? I thought the game was over when it was gonna go to the credits and go see you next time in Bayo 2, but. No, there's more to it than that, it seems. And I press A for next and. Epilogue Requiem? OMG, what's going on? Let's find out.